see that house right there, like right that there, big yeah. one on the corner. That shit right there. Yeah. That's the first place I ever got arrested for trespassing. Trespassing. What were you trying to do? Just start fucking hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to hit that. <laughs> make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Smash, <laughs> smash that like and subscribe button. Like, subscribe, comment. Tell us where you came from. Don't walk into a wall. Hey, who else wants an ice cream? We're buying for everyone. Three bomb pops. Three bomb pops. Let's go. All right. So our buddy Daniel Mack is coming. He's the. Hey, what do you do for a living? Love the car guy. Squeezy's gonna fuck with him. I ain't gonna fuck with him. I'm gonna play with him like a lion plays with his food. Turn me on a little bit, honestly. <laughs> this guy, he's got his own soundscape of him just speaking on the Calm app, so if you ever want to fall asleep to this guy, get calm. I would pay any amount to listen to Squeezy while I sleep. Hey, just nestle up in my arms like a baby fucking bird, homie, you'll fall asleep. Don't even have to worry about counting sheep. Count the fingers that I'm tickling you to bed with. That would cure anyone's insomnia. Where are you at? That's the... There we go. There we go. Woo! Hell yeah. Good, baby. How are you doing, homie? Yes, yes, yes. You've been for like ever? No, I'm only. I had to leave in like fucking five minutes. Mac, you show up for mac and cheese, cause you know this motherfucker got the cheese. You feel me? Yeah. So whole family. Yeah. Oh yay! We're gonna take it. Have a great day. So this is what we do when we come to Rodeo. We just take pictures with moms. Here's the thing is, you won't get recognized all day. As soon as one person comes up, that's when everyone comes up. Breaks the seal, up. okay? And they come in like a flash. Hey, excuse me, man. What do you do for a living? It's your voice squeezy chips. Okay, I can see that. What are you up to? Fucking sitting in the shade, just like half in the shade. Alright, well, nice to meet you, man. Okay, we're here today with Dax Flame, legendary Dax Flame. Now, he did a documentary on us back in February, and he's doing a follow-up. We're going to keep doing these over the years to sort of get some cool little footage and really track the journey. So, Daxy boy, what questions do you have for Ivy and me since you last saw us? Last time I saw you, you had about half the amount of followers since you do now. So, you've had a pretty great growth in the past six months. So, I'm kind of curious to ask you a bunch of questions about just what that feels like for y'all. Particularly, because last time, y'all had just been famous for about two weeks now it's been six months so what's that been like yeah i mean number one people come up to us a lot more which we always love always love meeting y'all taking photos every time but yeah our life hasn't changed too much like we still have the same popcorn ceilings we still drive the same two cars we've got a few new friends but we still got all our old friends i'd say the biggest thing is time no longer exists we have so much stuff we do i couldn't remember when the last time we saw you was it could have been six no, years ago or or no. a week ago Literally. you know it's like and we when's the last time we watched netflix i haven't turned on I, the xbox since dude, november x will tell you beginning of quarantine was i not watching movies every, every single night yeah. before i went to sleep xbox was always running always We'd be playing when was the last time we watched a movie or played xbox like yeah. that's something i've really noticed is like wow we've really been off tv lately. yeah like, no so hopefully we get to a point in maybe in a couple years <laughs> we can watch we can the watch movies you. again so you, you know? guys leave the netflix recommend it we'll start a spreadsheet you guys can add to it so when we like do subscribe calls. comment do everything so we can watch the movie. Please, like, like movies, yeah. Right? That's One of my favorite hobbies, all right? We don't care about the money. Guys. We don't care about any of that. We just want to watch Netflix again, so yeah. smash that like button. Check out Dax Flame. He's got a goal to get a million subscribers by yes. the end of the year. My link will be at the top of the description and in the comments and then also in other parts of the description. And then we're going to pin his comment and then there's going to be four annotations. In the comments, there will be a link to everything. <laughs> we just <laughs> yeah. So that's it. We're going to go get some food now. Maybe we'll film that. Maybe we won't. This is turning into an Ember Chamberlain vlog, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've literally found and the best looking pizza of all time. Like, it doesn't even look real. I honestly wasn't that hungry, but I'm like, how often do you get a chance to get a pizza that looks like this? I knew I should... I had a feeling I should have brought the party shirt VHS. I fucking knew it. I just had a feeling they'd have a VHS. How funny would that be with recording? Factor kept playing on here. That would be sick. I'm putting this guy's pencil in my mouth. 
Ticonderoga, so <laughs> has powers in it. No joke. Do you remember the joke in high school? It was like, if you take a test on a Ticonderoga, you're getting an A on the test. You need a good pencil to do well on a test, you know? Mind, body, and soul, okay? Put it all together, bam. Facts. We're here today in Beverly Hills. We get a lot of messages. Hey, we want to send you hate mail. Hey, we want to send you ricin. How do we get that to you? We don't want to really give away our personal address anymore. Definitely we're here. don't want to give that away. Ivy and Ali, the three amigos. And we're going to get a PO box, which we're going to throw somewhere on this video so you can send us dog poop on fire. <laughs> I gotta pee real bad. So they said, fuck you guys, we only take YouTubers, no TikTokers. So yeah, it's a hit that like and subscribe button so we can become YouTubers and we can get a PO box next to the famous Air One. Emma Chamberlain, we're gonna eat lunch with you one day over here. Not today, apparently. So we're going more east where they like it. Yeah. We were meant to get the Sunset Station location. That just feels better. We don't need that fancy crap. <laughs> Way more at my vibe. <laughs> yeah, so it didn't work out. What time does this place start? They needed some sort of non-identification bullshit. Where can I go print something? I'll go print my I-94. So we don't have a car, so we're walking home right now. The print out some crap no, to go I'm walk back. How are you doing, Legend? Yeah. What's going on? I'm good. That home now almost got laid out because he touched my little liquid hat. Ah, uh, happy. I'm just like, I just had laid out. Go. So. Uh, so we're walking home to get this document to go get the P.O. box. All right, we're finally at the mail shop. It's next to a strip club, so that would be our P.O. box. All right, the journey is over. After three spots, we finally have one. They've accepted us, so we will have the address shortly. Okay, we're doing it the most cliche way possible. We got celebrity mail services to help us out, Meister Mail. Let's open up our PO box now. It is 1407. It's key to remember here that this is a suite and it's not a PO box. So if you want to send mail, 7190 Sunset Boulevard Suite 1407 Hollywood, California 90046 Suite, not a PO box. And thank you. Okay, so when we plan collabs, it normally takes a large part out of the day right it's not a 10 minute thing you got to drive over LA and anyone who's been to LA knows the traffic's fucked so we literally had to drive about 30 to 40 minutes to go to this collab now this person had cancelled earlier this week and they're big but they're no one crazy that they get to do this whatever you know people cancel it happens fine they cancelled like an hour before the shoot so that was already annoying because we had been planning our day around it we rescheduled for this week we pull up at the front of the house and they send a text cancelling when we fucking pull up and they don't even have the balls to pick up the phone and apologize or say anything they decline the call and just sent a fucking text and that's just so disgusting and disrespectful seriously it sounds so stupid oh this person bailed on a collab no it's the principle of it and wasting someone's time when someone takes their time of their day i don't care who it is what position they are anything it's just to do that to someone not to respect someone's time is one of the most disrespectful things you can do to someone because it's just saying your time is meaningless it's not valuable at all so you know shit happens but i mean normally you have somewhat of an idea if you're gonna cancel on someone and it's just whack that we literally got outside the house and call them reject the call and then they shoot us a BS text oh, and he's something that else pissed us off they said something came up last minute and then they post some shit on their Instagram story of them chilling in the house like we said it's not all rainbows and sunshine on the party shirt lifestyle but hey this is just part of the process yeah. um sometimes we just got to take it for what it is and then just keep going so our manager party shirt Michael spent his entire stimmy on this pineapple now we were supposed to film this pineapple with the person we didn't collab with so not only did we waste time we also wasted money so we're gonna enjoy this pineapple ourselves. Now the pink pineapple, they actually have a patent on this and they don't have the stem wherever that's supposed to be. So you can't grow it yourself. So it's apparently just a regular pineapple, but a lot sweeter. They mix it with tomatoes to get that red hue to make tomatoes. it Tomatoes. They mix it with tomatoes. But apparently it's just a very sweet pineapple. So we're gonna taste it and see. It smells like a pineapple. We're we gonna... Yeah, it's bite in, right? Oh, we're gonna, oh. So we purchased the famous pink pineapple. As y'all might know, this actually has a pattern on it. You can't grow it yourself. They remove the stalk, so you can't replant it. Apparently it tastes like a pineapple, just a lot sweeter. They mix it with tomatoes to get that red hue to make it pink. Let's see what all the hocus pocus is about. Yeah, it tastes pretty much exactly like a pineapple. It tastes, yeah, yeah, it's, I don't know. Maybe a slight bit sweeter, but that also like five percent sweeter. Yeah, that could just be because we're you know we're told it's sweeter. It's damn good, let me tell you. Mm. 
It's a pineapple. Our day of fun has come to a close. We say goodbye to our newfound friend Squeezy and Corey to many more adventures. You can barely see him, but he was crazy I'm advice. I'm sad. I'm we fucking exhausted and, and we gonna go have sex. Enjoy that. Not together. Not with each other. Separately, yeah, next to each other though, in the same room. There's nothing wrong with it if you guys wanted to do it. No, I'm, I, I'm like, just saying. Like, we talked about it, but like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the lighting is horrible, but we didn't film much because we were having such a great time, so... Fucking, hey, straight up dog, like, party shirt, fucking X and Ivy, and manager fucking Mike. <laughs> These dudes is a real fucking deal. Like, I left LA because everybody was fake as shit. These dudes is fucking real as shit, and that's fucking fact. Damn. No fact or cap, that you bitch! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get behind you guys? We gotta buy our gecko. Jack. <laughs>